Hi, I'm Sarah the Gardener and I had an amazing weekend in the garden. The weather was perfect, it was hot, it was glorious and I just want to show you what I was up to. Okay, later this week, summer will come to an end, which is very sad, especially being as it didn't actually show up. But um, it doesn't mean my garden needs to stop because we have such mild winters I can grow all year round. And while it might seem the logical thing to start all my seedlings off in the greenhouse, in spring it's easier to warm it up, but in summer it's really difficult to cool it down. And the temperatures in there have reached in the high 40s. It's just pretty warm. And even outside, my outside thermometer is reading that it's 34 degrees out there right now. So it's a little hot. So the ideal thing to do to get these um, winter seedlings off to a good start is to sow them outdoors because in the greenhouse they're in such little pots and they would dry out in a heartbeat and then it's just going to be a real nightmare to try and keep them from you know withering and dying in the first five seconds of life so what i'm going to do is i'm going to i've just looked around the bed and decided the space on the leek bed is perfectly suitable to use as a nursery bed because Nothing's due to go in here for a long, long, long time. So what we'll do is I will give this a tickle over just to loosen it. Um, seeds already come with their own packed lunch. Everything they need to get started is in, in the seed. And so this doesn't need to be um, nutrient rich. So I'm not going to add anything to it to give it um, a head start because if the soil is too rich, it can't be too much for seedlings. So what I'm going to do is, as the seeds start to grow from their um, seed leaves to their true leaves, then I'll get a very um, light liquid feed that will be suitable, not too heavy, and just give them uh, the nutrients there, because this bed has had onions in it, for my shallots were here actually, for a good six months, so the soil will be de depleted in some things. Um, but they're not going to be here long, they don't need much, I'm not going to waste my effort enriching the bed. So what I will do is just give it a tickle over, loosen the soil, get rid of any lumps and bumps to make it easy for those seeds to come through and then I'll make sure it's really moist so get some water on it to have it soak in deep because it's quite dry. Um, and then we will plant my seeds for the winter. Yay, seed sowing! Not half as exciting as the spring ones, but exciting nonetheless. Now let's get this bed ready. nursery bed all taken care of. It's got a relatively fine till, so no real lumps and bumps there. So it'll be good enough for my seedlings to emerge through. It's actually quite damp already because we had quite a lot of rain last week. No surprises there. So what I will do is just give it a really good hose down to just help with that moisture retention, get it down deep so that it will wick up to the surface and support my seedlings as they grow. And then it'll be ready 
to sow seeds. It's quite exciting. Right, that'll do for now. I'll let that soak in till I'm ready to sow the seeds. Maybe it'll be today, or maybe it'll be in a couple of days. So here we are in the orchard, and the peaches are ready. So exciting. I mean, there is nothing better than a fresh peach straight from the tree, still warm from the sun. Ah, oh, it smells delicious. and tastes even better. Look at that. So fresh, so juicy. Oh. This is why we grow food. There's quite a few in the tree, although not as many as in previous years because the spring was so miserable that the poor blossoms just didn't stand a chance. There were no bees, it was too windy, it was too wet. Reduced crop, but that's okay, we've still got some, and they are ripe. So this is my peach harvest. It's not as much as it could have been had it been a better spring, but it is what it is and I still have peaches. Some of them are completely perfect and others, mm, yeah, not so much. But if I act quickly and chop the bad bits off and then I can do something with the rest, maybe jam or cordial. Okay, now there's one last thing that I promised I'd show you. <laughs> the kimchi. It smells all right. It looks okay. I'll be authentic and try the chopsticks. Here we go. Why am I so nervous? Okay, let's just try it. Don't judge my chopstick skills. They're not the best. Oh, right. Sort of almost a lemony smell. Oh, there's the spice. It's not too bad. That was the cabbage. It sort of does have a pickle kind of a flavour to it. Yeah. Um, okay, let's try some of the spring onion. Yeah. And the kohlrabi. It's gone nice and pink. Almost looks like a carrot. Still crunchy. I like it. It's such a unique taste. I've never had anything like it before, so I don't know if I like it. Does that make sense? I don't know. I really don't know. It's not something that I go, ooh, we'll have to make that again. But at the same time, it's not something you go, ooh, ooh. I don't know. Hmm, it's interesting. And I have a huge jar to get through. Yes. I think I need a kimchi party. Just to, you know, get rid of it. And that was kimchi.
Maybe it'll grow on me. So, well, I'm still not quite sure about that kimchi, but the rest of the weekend was awesome fun. And the garden's looking good, it's in control, and I'm really pleased with how it's looking, even though it's coming to an end. Summer officially finishes the day after tomorrow. It's very disappointing. But I did read an article in the newspaper that said that um, the warm weather that we had on the weekend is going to continue into autumn. So we might even get our summer just under a different label. So that's it for now. I've got a load of harvesting still to do. Like these tomatoes. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Mm. It tastes amazing too. Oh yum. So I will finish eating this and go and get my basket and start picking things so I can pickle, preserve, freeze and just fill my boots. So take care. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again next time. Bye bye. What are you doing? Say goodbye. Say goodbye.